Right now, we're going to have Lara's exclusive interview with Ivanka Trump. As you know, she's been called her father's secret weapon, one of his most trusted advisors. She's going to introduce him Thursday night. And Lara, all year long, Ivanka has been very poised in the spotlight. George, poised is the right word. And Ivanka says her father's candidacy is all about looking toward the future. That is something she is very excited to be a part of. And she is also not holding back about some big Republicans choosing to sit out the convention and her father's campaign. It was just over a year ago that you announced your father's presidential bid. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today a man who I have loved and respected my entire life. And in just a few days, you'll do it again, this time, though, as the presidential nominee. What has this year been like for you? It's almost impossible to describe, to meet so many people, to hear their enthusiasm for his candidacy. He's the messenger of the people. He's the people's candidate. Do you worry about his safety? This young man allegedly had been targeting Trump for some time. You also had a man try to rush the stage at an Ohio rally. We live in scary times. I worry about the safety of my father, but I worry about the safety of every American, including my children and myself, my family. This convention will come to order. I do want to ask you about the convention. The Bush family, Mitt Romney, John McCain, not attending. What do you think it is about your father that makes him such a polarizing figure? My father is an outsider, and we went through a very tough primary, and he emerged from that the winner, but there were certainly ruffled feathers along the way. Was that hurtful to hear, though, that some major figures in the party would not No, that's be their there. choice. You know, if they don't want to be part of the narrative, um, if they don't want to be part of the future, but this really is about a forward-looking moment. Hillary Clinton has an ad out. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, OK? It's, like, incredible. Have you seen that? I have seen that, yes. As a parent, if your children were to see that ad. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime. What would you say to your children? I, I wouldn't have my children listening to those ads. The negative ads, especially those, um, and almost all of them are a complete manipulation of his words and packaged for maximum impact. Despite what anyone may say, including the opposition, I know the man, and so do my children. Your father relies on you a great deal, though. Your brothers, your father, you are such a tight unit, but none of you have political experience. And here you are on the national stage, front and center, one of his key advisors. I think that I have strong opinions. Um, I articulate those opinions when, when asked, and he raised my brothers to be the same. Your brothers and you were given the opportunity to talk to all of the vice presidential finalists, if you will. What were you looking for, for the person who stood by your dad's side? We wanted to ensure that personalities would be complementary, that track record was well suited to the task at hand. The next vice president of the United States, Governor Mike Pence. <laughs> Governor Pence has done an unbelievable job in the state of Indiana. And then also, you know, really the person, getting to know him and his wife and his children and who they are as a family. Did you and your brothers all agree? It was my father's decision, so. But you weighed in. We did weigh in. We did weigh in. Um, but ultimately, it, it was his decision. Have you given him advice on how to change the perception that some women have about him? Well, I think the perception is a flawed one. People talk and talk about gender equality, but do they actually live it? My father has. He believes in equality amongst the genders, economically, politically, socially. My father has empowered women, including me, his whole life. And we will have more of my exclusive interview with Ivanka Trump. She is opening up about her big speech and her father's tweets coming up in our next hour. We're going to get right back to you, though. George and Robin in Cleveland. All right, there, Lara Verum. Thank you. Yeah, and Lara, she, boy, when you talked to her about that vice presidential search, she, she dove right in there. And, 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 and they really did have a big role. She had a lot to say about it, George, and she's very, very pleased with her father's decision.